Good afternoon. I thought if you see our screen, this would be a great picture to describe what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Dead Dead Sea Scrolls. You say, Styley, it's the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, they're the Dead Dead. They're dead. Okay? They have not shown no light. They have not given us no great revelation. They are not approved by the Holy Spirit. Because these books we're going to talk about, these books we're going to list, if it was improved, if it was proved, if it was right, it would be included and we would have more than 66 books of the Bible, but we have 66 books of the Bible. So, scratch out, cross out, the dead, dead sea scroll. And we'll, we'll look at some interesting facts. Alright, so dead is the proper name. It does not do me no good. It does not do me no reference. It does me nothing to my Bible reading, my Bible study. Okay? Not once does it give advance light. Okay, from Scholar, they were found in the Qumram Cave Scrolls. This is what they call it. <coughs> <coughs> Comrades, cave scrolls are the scrolls from the wilderness of Judea. You know what wilderness is? A wilderness does not provide food, water. God had to. God has had to. What's the word I want? Miraculously give Israel food and water, the manna, and then water from the rock. Wilderness is dead, is dumb, it there's your dead dead sea. February 18th, 1948. Roman Catholic priest. Da da! Now anything with the word Catholic should send up all the hurricane flags. It should turn on all the lighthouses. It should blow all the fog foghorns. It should be a warning. Catholic. There is nothing to the Bible, King James, and Catholic. Unless Catholics have killed people from the line of the King James Bible. If a Catholic says it, it's probably tradition. Now watch, 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 watch. Catholic priest Father Brutus Somley. Father? The Bible says, call no man your father. Matthew. Oh, we got one. Put it next. Of the St. Mark Monastery. You mean the same kind of place where they found the, uh, the son and I? Crap. Uh, move back over here. You mean where Tisov found in a St. Catherine's monastery, the Mount Sinai? What did he find? He found the Codex Sinicatus, which does more harm, it does more evil, it does more wickedness to the Bible reading and Bible study. What does the Dead Sea Scrolls come from the, mo for the monastery? From Catholicism, along with Mount, with Mount Saint, I mean, with the uh, the Codex Sinaiticus, what's it do? Doesn't do you no good. There's nothing about it. He called the American School of the Oriental Research ASOR. You're gonna call the Americans? The Americans don't know nothing. Americans don't even know what sex they are. Americans don't even know, most of them, that, you know, abortion is murder. Americans doesn't know that the Bible says if a man is guilty of a crime worthy to be put to death, you're to put him to death. And not one every century. America, what's America know? She's got every Bible in the sun. But very few King James Bible believing churches.
American clergyman William Brownlee. Brownlee. He's associated pa uh, Presbyterian pastorates of the Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Presbyterian? Throw them out the window. Okay? Well, Stolly, how can you say that? Do you know who they are? Do you know who the Catholics are? Do you know what they believe? Do you know the workings of the Presbyterian Church? I do. Brownlee was installed as a minister to colleague Reformed Dutch Church in New York City. New York City? There was a commercial, uh, I think it was for tacos or taco sauce, something like that. And be New York City? There's not where that is supposed to come from. Information about the Bible does not come from New York City. It does not come from America. You know what? You know what put America dead? You know what America started going downhill? When she came up with the American Standard Bible. England was the revised Standard Bible. So he got in touch with Dr. John Trevor. Dr. Morris Brown. He's an unsaved Jewish person. Man. He examined it. And this is what the Dead Sea Collection comes about. The Book of Jubilee, or the Little Genesis. It's in Latin. Latin was not around. Latin is the official language of the Catholic Church. They still speak Latin today. You don't know what they're saying. Tell that priest, press one for English. The book of Enoch. From the book of Jude. The book of Jude, which chapter? Ten manuscripts with fragments. And the reason for that? Jude 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these Saying, saying, not writing. Didn't say wrote, didn't say write, did not say penned. Saying, this, this is the word of Enoch, not the writings of Enoch, but the Dead Sea Silk Scrolls say, well, here's the book of Enoch. Behold, the Lord cometh with 10,000 of the saints. I think Jude summed it up. The book of Noah. I guess he had nothing else to do in that ark. <laughs> you know, cleaning, feeding the animals and making sure everything is going great, taking care of his family. These are books that the Holy Spirit says, King James Bible, even your modern Bibles. I'm not even allowing the ark, the, the, the apocrypha in there. Why would I allow this garbage? The aromatic. Testament of Levi. Now, this is important. Remember the Aramaic, well, remember the Aramaic testimony of Levi. Remember Levi. The fragments of the testimony of Levi in the Greek text. There was no Greek text when Levi was around. Someone's trying to sell you a lollipop. That's plastic. The, tes the testament of Nephtali, one of the twelve sons of Jacob, a Greek text. These people could sell you land in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Scenes of Moses, a little Deuteronomy. You see, the Deuteronomy of the Bible is, is not good enough. We got to have a little Deuteronomy. Because bigger Deuteronomy, there are things in there that, you know, they offend me. I don't like them. The scrolls of the patriarchs, the testimony of the twelve patriarchs. The song of Joshua. Song of Joshua. Songs of Joshua. Oh Lord, why did you give me these people that gave Moses a hard time? Oh, no. He, I always can imagine Moses coming up to Joshua. Hey, you know, God's told me I'm going to die. I'm not going to go in the promised land because, you know, I smoked that rock twice. 
Oh, Moses, I'm sorry. I, of all the people I would fear, yeah. Well, who's going to take care of Israel now? You. <laughs> sorry. The vision of Amram. That's the father of Moses. Uh, Aaron and Miriam. Vision. I look out and see a bunch of Egyptians. Oh, Isaiah's scroll and commentaries. You see, Isaiah, he's. You got to have our Isaiah. The deuteral Isaiah. The book of mysteries. Oh, it's about. You put that in religion or you put that in the mysteries at the, at the bookstore? The Habakkuk commentary. Omit in the third chapter, the second coming. Oh. They won't tell you about the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's only one and two are found. <laughs> chapter. And there's various commentaries that the Holy Spirit said, garbage. Just like Codex Vaticanus. Just leave it in the garbage, will you? Yeah, huh? It's claimed to impose the new light that the King James translators did not have. Why are they always attacking the King James? Why didn't they attack the ASV? Why did they attack Kenneth Taylor? Why didn't they attack all the other modern Bibles? Why do they got to attack the King James? Because the King James is the very word of God. And, you know, it speaks evil of man. It's just so rude and crude. And boy, you can never figure out the words of the King James. You know why I say one of the reasons why the King James is the very word of God on how man reacts to it. Including your scholars and your Baptists. But it failed to show any new or any light. Now what about the Quran community? They were apostate. They rejected the, old, the entire Old Testament. Old Testament, Moses, Noah, Ark, Egypt, being the, David, Solomon, Jezebel, the building, the destruction, the rebuilding of the temple. We don't believe that. It's wrong. That's what the comrades community did. But they profess to believe it. I got a bottle of pills here. And these are supposedly for high cholesterol. I got a little touch of high cholesterol. I don't think they're for cholesterol. But I'll take them for cholesterol. I think now they're selling land in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Call themselves Sons of Light. Uh oh, that's Lucifer's title. But second. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, I believe, chapter eleven. Satan himself is as, uh, as as an angel of light. I behold Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Son of righteous, sons of righteousness, with this crap, with these lies, men of perfecting. Whoa, that's a scholarly title. Look how important we are. You see the picture right there? Men of truth. <laughs> yeah, right. The newspapers say, say that. And yet it's fake news. The politicians will promise you everything, yet they don't perform. A preacher will get up, the ASV, this is the very word of God. No, no it's not. The NIV, no it's not. Liars. John 8, 44. That's the same thing about the Americans and the Bible scholars. Look how great we are. Look at our time. We're doctor. We're DD. We PhD. See all the initials after our name? Mm -hmm. No blood atonement for sin. 
So the blood of Jesus Christ for these for these people, the Passover lamb's blood has no value to the Conrad community. What are you doing writing Old Testament books? You know what the law said? A lamb in the morning and a lamb... Oh, that's right. They don't believe what the law said because that's Old Testament. This is like many Christians today. I don't read the Old Testament. They didn't believe it, but they did believe it. Huh? They believe for water, for purification. That's a Roman Catholic theology. you got to get infant baptism. That, that will save you. It doesn't save you. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you saved. No blood, no salvation. No blood, God said, there's no life. God gave the blood for an offering. They denied the Levitic Levitical priesthood and sacrifices. Okay, remember I told you back here? They write about the testament of Levi, both in the Aramaic and the Greek. So here's a testament of Levi, but they did not believe in the police priesthood and the sacrifices. There goes the lambs, there goes the bullocks, there goes the peace offering, there goes the, uh, the, the burnt offering, there goes the burnt sacrifice. That was essential for the Jews. And it's coming back in the tribulation period, it will be in the millennium, and it will be in, in the eternal life to come. They don't believe in that. Then you need to get rid of your crappy books. You know, it's like the, it's like the moron, well, Jabez. And they don't think about this whole stupid thing about Jabez and with the three or four verses of the Bible. Why don't you read the 66 books of the Bible? You know, I'm going to get this book about the book about the Bible. Why don't you get that book of the Bible and read that book of the Bible? Never mind any other books. My little bird saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. I don't know if you can hear him. But if men did not adhere to Moses, all right, this is, all right, if you didn't listen to Moses, you were unclean and not pure. You know what Moses mostly said about? He said about the Levites and Levitical priesthood. Man, you know how much how much room Moses spent by the authority of the Holy Spirit and God about the tabernacle being built in the material? He spent the entire time of Leviticus telling you how and who and what of the sacrifices. He reminds you in the book of Numbers. He reminds you again in Deuteronomy before you go into the land. We don't believe in the sacrifices of the, of the priesthood, but if you didn't obey Moses and you didn't stand with Moses, you were unclean and not pure. You are unclean and not pure for this dead, dead sea scroll. Okay, a dedicated study to the Torah, the law of Moses, but they did not obey it. <clears throat> I went to college to be an office manager. And one of the classes I had was typing. Well, you know, I looked at that keyboard, and I see uh, Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, next line, A, S, D, F, G, H, and uh, oh, yeah, I see uh, numbers are up there, and I got the keyboard and the numbers over here, the F1 keys and all that. Yeah, that's interesting. Good. There's a space bar to return and shift. Yeah. It's like a typewriter. Okay, Mr. Hayward, now you got to take your typing test. I ain't doing that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that's going to work. I don't believe I push W and W is going to come up on the screen. I don't I don't believe that what key I press is going to come up on the screen. I don't believe that. But, oh, yeah, there's the B, there's the B, there's the C, there's the X, there's the Z. I got cholesterol medicine here. I don't believe it's cholesterol medicine, but I'll take it. That's cholesterol medication. What is going on here? Someone's brain's fuse popped. 
They saw circumcision as a spiritual application rather than physical. Well, <laughs> well was it Gilgal? Or Joshua, they crossed the land. All right, every man come up. We're going to have this. We're going to have circumcision because you weren't circumcised in the wilderness. And the Bible says there was a pile of, of foreskins. How do you get a pile of foreskins if it was spiritual? Mm -hmm. Yep. But this is what Paul taught. For the church age. Now, what? I have been circumcised. And I had my son circumcised because it was talking to the doctors, it was healthy. It was clean. It is proper. And there were more evidence against circumcision. But I wasn't circumcised and my son wasn't circumcised because of the law. But Paul said, as far as me, I am to put away, I am to remove the flesh of my body who wants to do rule as wickedness and evil. That my flesh and the Spirit of God, they are inside me fighting. My flesh. I want to do it. The Holy Spirit, don't you do that. But I want to do it. No, you're not going to do it. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. The Holy Spirit said, all right, we're going to do this in the flesh. Like, oh, no, you're not. We're going to church. Oh, no, we're not. I'm staying in bed. You're going to read your Bible. Oh, I have something else I can do. The spiritual circumcision that Paul teaches us about is cutting away the flesh, but not the flesh. The flesh as far as carnal appetites, wickedness and sin, adultery, murders, cursing, yelling, screaming, eating too much. But Paul's writings were right in 68 AD and longer, uh, later. Two different messiahs coming, one for Aaron, one for Israel. I thought you didn't believe in the Levitical priesthood. Aaron is the first high priest and the father of the priest, his children. Where's Judah? There are 382 different manuscripts, one cave, 600 to 900 fragments, all the caves. A hundred are biblical manuscripts less than one third. So it's, you know, the Holy Spirit said, don't put it in the Bible. How's that? Holy Spirit says, I've given you 66 books of the Bible. Why don't you read those? Every book of the Hebrew Bible except, except Esther is represented. They can't find Esther. I don't know, maybe she went out with a ball or something, but they can't find Esther. So 65 books of the Bible. While they add various others. Take away one, add more. That's your modern Bible. That, that's West Cotton Hort. That's your modern Bibles. I mean... It wasn't David that killed Goliath. Saul, King Saul talking to something. USOB, Children's Bible. Ethiopian Union. What must I do to, to, for to be baptized? All right, just go right in the water. Remove the believing on Jesus. 1 John 5. No Father, no Word, no Holy Spirit. And then Isaiah 14 and Revelation, they make Jesus and Satan or Lucifer brothers or the same. That's even worse. The text types, the Masoretic text, 
the present Hebrew Bible in the proper text. It's similar to the LXX garbage, Septuagint garbage, the Alexandria Krupp text. That's the wrong church, it's the wrong place, the wrong country. The Western text, Latin and Greek. It differs from the Masoretic and the LXX. Oh. So even the texts, even they themselves don't agree with each other. From 175 BC to 68 AD. Well, in 68 AD, Acts has taken place. Matthew, Mark, Luke have written. The Pauline epistles are being written with Peter, James, and Jude. Don't waste your time. Dead, dead sea scroll. If a scholar promotes it, my garbage can's over there. I can't reach it. Remember Tissendal? Codex Sinicatus? I can't say it. it. Was found in the garbage can. Should have been left in the garbage can. They were they were burning it. I know this wasn't the same idea of these dead, dead sea scrolls. Well, they were just kept it for lighting fires. I wouldn't have nothing to do with 